what's up fellow gamers? This is Joseph Levesque with the marketing team for the upcoming game project by CGDC. So in this video, like usual, we're going to be doing our monthly update showcasing what we've done in our project throughout the month of December. So I feel like I always just talk so much. So let's just dive right in, but after I make one quick disclaimer that I usually make and that if you would be interested in becoming part of our beta testing team once our game reaches that stage, check out the video description below. There is a sign up link as well as if you want to just connect with us on other social media platforms because hey, that's what the cool kids do. With that said, let's go ahead and check out the development update for the month of December. Hey guys, so for the development part of this video, we are actually very excited to give you a little bit of a first sneak peek at the game that has actually been created. So we're gonna be showing you some gameplay. Just note, I know I say this a lot, but uh, just note that a lot of what's inside of this game is still placeholder and under development, but we have enough done to give a general idea of what it's gonna look like that we wanna share it. So let's go ahead and jump into the game. We're gonna do some quick introductions. All right, thanks, Joseph. My name's Chris, I'm the game producer. Basically, my job is to make sure that we actually release a game at the end of our development period. Who I have here is Raphael. He is one of the uh, characters that we've got, and I'm excited to get into this and see what kind of gameplay we've got. So Caleb, tell us a little bit about some of the features we have here inside of this uh, home base. Okay, well, I'm Caleb. I am a developer on the project. I'm working on loot. So currently we have three vendors. The, all of the vendors sell items and the amount of money that the items cost is dynamically generated based on the level of the player. We also have a player with some basic dialogue that demonstrates our dialogue engine for the game. Um, if, if I'm not mistaken, we actually have voice dialogue, I've got some right? hard so, to find weapons yeah. and armor. Take a look. So if I click on this person, he actually chats. Is that going to be something that we're going to fully implement through the game, like full voice dialogue? Oh yeah, this is going to be fully voiced. All of the dialogues going to have, we're going to have voice actors. In fact, the guy who is heading up our story department, he is himself a professional voice actor. And I've worked with him personally. He's really good. He knows, he has a lot of different connections. Great. What do you guys say we go fight a little bit? Oh, yeah. Sure, I'm up for that. Okay, so while we run over there, I guess uh, we'll talk a little bit about her type. So my character is Tressa. She is a brawler. I don't know much about that, but she basically likes to get close up and personal and fight with hand uh, hand weapons. What about Raphael? What's his character type? Raphael is the typical sword and board kind of character. He's got some really, really cool bladed weapons. He's gonna be, yeah, getting in there in the thick of it with Tressa. Nice. And then what about John? John is a bard which utilizes musical based attacks. So as you can see, the weapon I'm using is a harp. Oh, and I just got a shofar, but uh, Tressa can't utilize someone else's weapon type, can she? Different weapons are keyed to different people. Okay. Same thing with the armor. So I'm already seeing that we're, uh, we're seeing a little bit of the procedural generation here, is that correct? We're seeing all the procedural generation. <laughs> I saw a little bit what it was like when we first started using it, and it was not as seamless as this, which even this is not quite perfect yet, but this is a lot smoother than it was when we first started using it. For sure. Got one of those shofars. <laughs> I love how the frog just randomly has a shofar inside of its stomach. But yeah, we're gonna be continuing to work with the level design. Some of these dirt paths are kind of going in odd places. And so uh, this is gonna be one of the things we've got some some new people helping out. With. Right, well cool. I think that this has given us a good little first sneak peek. But as we continue to develop this game, we're definitely gonna be sharing a lot more about what we're doing inside of it, especially as we get into some of the different acts. But I feel like this is a, a really good example of what we've done so far inside of the game. Wow, guys, that's pretty snazzy. Like, that's pretty groovy, yo, like smoking hot. So that's a pretty great update for the development. 
Now, we're gonna talk about art. But since you guys probably are getting annoyed with my voice already, I am actually going to have the director of the art team list the achievements made in art over the past month. So let's switch over to him. Hello, my name is Jason Martin, and I'm filling in as the art director on this project. This past month, the art team has built the modular level assets for the puzzle room and the boss room. These are the level assets that the rooms will be made from, but then each act will have a few custom assets to add a bit of variety. In addition to those, we also have a throwing tambourine weapon, a new armor set for the brawler, a flask of pearls as a currency pickup, and an ammo pouch. We also decided to make custom weapons drop from each boss. There will be four weapons, one for each class, dropped from each boss, and the weapons will be themed around that boss. So here's what the peacock boss weapons look like. So those are the highlights from the art team this past month. There's a lot more in the pipeline, so be sure to check back in next month. Thank you, Jason. That was pretty fantastic. So now we're gonna take a sneak peek at music. What good would a game be without music? So let's go ahead and take a sneak peek at some of the new music for the project over the past month. Okay, so as far as music, there hasn't actually been a lot of new music composed over the past month, but there are actually some concept tunes that I can share with you guys. Some little sneaky concept tunes, yep. And there is also a kind of like under development tune that's being developed for act two of the game that I can also share with you guys. So I'm gonna give you a little sneaky, sneak peek at that. Yeah, so let's take a look. Let's do that. Mm -hmm. I don't know about you, but that sounded pretty good. So let's go ahead and switch over now to talking about the story for this project over the month of December. Thanks, Joseph. My name is Joseph too. What? I don't even know anymore. So the story team has been hard at work. They are now writing some of the storylines for Act 2 and 3. I'm not really going to share what the storyline of those ones are yet because they're not final at this point. Once they get more definite, I'll share what is going to happen in them. But as far as Act 1, I already shared what's happening, but we are getting some actual dialogue lines written for it. Maybe the next video I'll do like me actually voicing out the dialogue lines. How are you doing today? You know, something like that. Yeah, mm -hmm. that would be pretty awful, honestly. And uh, as well as dialogue being written and some of the new acts being written, this is the one I'm really excited about. There are some quests being written out for various of the acts. And this is something I just can't wait to once the game comes out to just get in it and just do some quests because do I need to say any more? Quests are awesome. So anyway, that's the story team. That's the update. Back to you, uh, Joseph. Hey, so it seems like there's been some nice stuff done for the story over the past month. Well guys, that's it for this update video. Please stay tuned though, because we have some great ideas up in marketing, talking between some of the people in the project, coming up with some really cool ideas on some other types of video content that we can do. So stay tuned if you have not subscribed yet to CGDC. Go ahead and subscribe to this YouTube channel right now and drop a like on this video because if you don't, like, what are you even doing with your life? All right, stay tuned, guys. God bless.